Hey, this is Heather from Third Eye Design Studio. Um, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use the Divi theme, um, Div Divi Builder, and the Visual Builder, specifically the Visual Builder, because it's just super easy for you to, uh, once you have your website all set up, to go in and edit your photos and your text and everything. So I'm just going to show you um, on this theme that I created. Uh, this is um, the Life Coach theme that I created, which is on my website, Studio Third Eye. Um, so what you got to do, I'm going to show you how to use the Visual Builder, is basically, um, see that little button up there? This is created in the, the Divi theme. You just click on Enable Visual Builder. So you click on that. And um, as you can see, um, it kind of switches over so you can edit everything. It's really cool. So say you want to go ahead and you want to edit the welcome text. Um, this is a module, so you can, you can edit it by the module or you can edit it um, if you actually just click on it. So if you click on it um, and you just put in there like this is the text, um, you can actually change out, change out your text that way. Um, and then you just kind of click off of it so it goes back to module mode. But if you want to use the module um, setting, uh, this little box pops up and it's a little bit easier, I think. Uh, you can make it a little bit wider. There we go. You can make it a little bit wider so you can edit things. So basically, if you, know, if you have a Word document that you were working on your text for your website, uh, you could actually just paste it in here. So as you can see, it's kind of like an email editor. So basically, uh, you know, you just edit it. And you click Save. So the next step I'm going to show you is how to change out a photo. That's pretty easy, too. So basically, you're in the, you're in the visual editor and you go over to the module, this is an image module, and basically you can just go ahead and you can change out the photos from the, your media library in WordPress, or you can uh, grab a photo from your desktop. So I'm gonna grab it from the media area. And it has a whole bunch of different um, settings um, the alignment, sizing, spacing, um, you can do an animation on it. This one already has a fade on it, but if I take it off, uh, I can show you, um, you know, it fades in, you can do a slide, you can do a bounce, zoom, flip, fold, and roll. Um, I'll just keep the fade on that, but there's all kinds of different settings you can experiment with in here. So you do that. Um, you know, when your website's built, you can you can change out any of the text. You can change out any of these photos. Uh, like I said, um, basically just grab it off your desktop, or if you have one in the media area already. Um, these buttons, you can change the text on them. Um, right here it says book now. You can change it to something else. Um, I have acuity scheduling in here. You can you can change it to something else, some other software um, scheduling if that's what you want. Um, I have this button uh, linked up to another page on the website um, that goes to the services page. Um, you can change it to something else. So basically, like I said, it's really easy to edit your website um, once it's built in the uh, Divi Visual Builder. So um, just saying, once you've got all your changes made, you change your text, you change your photos, you change out the links, you've customized it. Um, just basically click on this little. Uh, you know, exit Visual Builder again, and um, save and exit. And um, that's how it is. You you're, you just made all your changes to your website. So, uh, you know, if you've been feeling like you, you don't really want to learn WordPress again, um, you think it's going to be really difficult to edit, it's uh, it's not true. It's It's super easy. It's a drag and drop editor. So I hope that helps.